Peace, family. This is your Mende brother, Hendowa. This will be a continuation of my uh, presentation on the Mende history, um, the origin of the Mende. Uh, in this one, we'll be looking at the uh, Mende from a linguistic uh, point of view. I'll be trying to show how and why the Mende uh, are associated with the Southwest Mindy speaking people linguistic level um, as I was saying in the previous video um, these people are basically the same um, coming from the same area um, speaking the same dialects uh, or different dialects of the same language pretty much so as we jump right in we'll see that uh, we have a new age of scholars who started looking at these groups linguistically and um, you know the previous scholars um, with looking at them as isolated groups. Whereas in they thought that, you know, the loco was basically a mixed language between the Timni and the Mandi. And uh, the same with the uh, Mende. They thought it were, was more of a Bolum mixed with the Mani language, which, um, you know, when you study linguistically, it's not true. You know, um, if you read, uh, you can see that these languages are basically, uh, especially the Northern Southwest Mani language, which is Mende, Bandi, Logo. You know, these languages are basically the same language, you know, but different dialects. In our previous video, we talked about the uh, Mandi speaking confederation of Hondo. And, um, you know, uh, most of these uh, scholars and linguists didn't tie these people in. Um, they didn't look at the ballet. They didn't look at the, uh, the different groups. And, um, you know, uh, it says that I here, you know, I kind of missed all of these these uh, clues, but uh, Dwyer, you know, he kind of picked up on things, but there were certain things that he missed. You know, if information isn't afforded to certain, uh, you know, we have more technology now. We have, you know, the library is just broadened with uh, Google and things of that nature, so we don't know if it's laziness or just, uh, you know, that something that they missed. Um, but as you can see, you know, they kind of left out the analysis of the ballet throughout all of the analysis, even though he tied the groups in, but the ballet is the key. Remember, Konia or Koniaka is a ballet word, basically meaning mountains, hilltops, and rivers. So when we study in this, you know, we can't leave out these ballet because, you know, as you read down, uh, they were the first to break off from the proto Southwest Mindy speaking people. So the ancestors of the Southwest Mindy, the Bali were the first group to break off and start speaking, you know, languages that surrounded the area, I would say. And if you take notice as it goes on further to read, uh, the most closely uh, related languages are the Vai Kono and the Soso Chalonke. So, you know, all of these groups have a, a shared ancestry somewhere down the line. So, you know, the ballet broke away from these groups and, you know, basically it makes sense because the ballet are from the land of Ouagadou or the empire of Ouagadou, which was, you know, ancient Ghana. So uh, they moved down into this area before the conception of Mali. So as I said, you know, these were the first people to uh, basically, you know, uh, settle the Koniaka or Konian uh, area. This is a list of the different dialects under these respective languages. Um, what I would like you to kind of take a look at is on the Bele you have a group called Bali. Bali. And uh, under the Loma you have a group, group called Bundi or Bandi. Bode. And then Bandi, you know, you have Bandi, Bande, Bode. Bande. These are the same words. These are the same, uh, you know, etymologically etymolog etymolog speaking. <laughs> excuse, my, excuse my pronunciation. But uh, this is the same word. And uh, I'll give an attempt to try and uh, tie it in and show how. But, uh, you know, um, this is very important. When you start looking at the, the groups on a linguistic level, it kind of changes up for you. So as you read, you know, um, the Mende is uh, associated with the Mani, or Mali, um, the empire. The original word was uh, 
Manda, you know, and, um, it's uh, probably a lord, a lordship, uh, like uh, Mansa, Mansang, which would be king, Mansang Da, would be king's place, you know, um, and depending on, depending on pronunciation of different groups, that, you know, uh, these uh, names were transposed, or letters were transposed, so, you know, it kind of explains certain things. Um, but uh, the men, uh, the Limba, who are a, um, basically the first group that were down in this area, the Limba, um, is still in their vocabulary. The Mende means royalty, uh, kingship, uh, you know. But, um, you know, as you go along, the word logo, who are uh, related to the Mende, should be treated as a, as a distorted form of a logo self-identification of one of the two major dialectical groups of logo itself an alienation from the original dogo which literally translates to ground uh you know uh, the other dialectical group is Londogo, which confirms the original initial consonant the latter may be translated as river mouth land and logo da a la is the same in uh, Mende. It means mouth. So, you know, it's basically saying that this is the mouth of the river. You know, these were the people of the land of the mouth of, you know, these different rivers of the Konean Highland. Now, if you take notice, you know, it's showing you that the Loma and the Loco is basically the same word as well. They have said shared ancestry and go back to a common language family. Uh, so, the Loma is actually originally goes back to logoma dogoma and logoma you know what i mean so you know these are the same words basically the same root both derives from the mandy word mandy word logo or dogo so you know as opposed to kiziba which means you know mountaintop or mountains uh dogoma means basically flat land or lowlands you know, according to the Bele, you know, the Bele, uh, the word Koya, which this kingdom was actually named Koya. But uh, Koya is basically uh, mountains and rivers, you know, mountains, mountain hilltops and rivers, Koya. You know, uh, so Konia, you know, this is a, these are Bele terms and, uh, you know, of the wider Mandi uh, language, a language uh, family. As you can see, Mende became the... Uh, the political prestigious name of the language adopted by the Mani, lords of the Sierra Leone lands. So, uh, you know, Logo and Logoma were basically, uh, what would probably be the, um, the original names of these groups, of this group, you know. Um, so if you read on, uh, the Logo, uh, when they first went up into, because the locals split off from the the, uh, the larger Mani uh, group and went up and got circled off by the Tidneys and the other groups up in Sierra Leone. <clears throat> so the Limba uh, still called the local Wubandi, Wubandi, you know, uh, Lee Bandi, Hugh Bandi, you know what I mean? They're, you know, so this is very important information. It's like, uh, you know, all of these groups, like I said, tie into one another. So, you know, once you look at it from a linguistic point of view, you know, like the, the Banta and the Timmy and the, the Kizzy at one time, you know, these languages, uh, their languages were more interchangeable as well. Not interchangeable, but more uh, um, intelligible, you know, so uh, they can understand each other a little more. But as time goes on, you know, people migrate, influenced by uh, other people's languages, you know, Ebonics and certain slang uh, uh, wrapped around, you know, those experiences and environments. And so, you know, things change, you know, just like here in America, a person in, uh, in New York, you know, go down to Texas and certain Ebonics change. And, you know, there's a certain, at certain points, you're like, huh, what, you know what I mean? So this is just how, you know, uh, language works. For those who want to look into this further, um, this is the author, uh, I don't want to butcher his name, but hopefully it kind of answers some of the questions of those who did their DNA tests and come back with multiple uh, multiple results, you know, different ethnic groups within these, uh, within the areas of, you know, Cote d'Ivoire and Guinea, 
Liberia, Sierra Leone, even Guinea-Bissau, all of these uh, areas. But I hope I did it a little justice and uh, shed a little understanding.